Um, I play half an hour solo opening set and for that set I have two SPBs from Victor. One is, is uh, F integral tuning. Another one is a, is a low C sharp dominant 7. Then I uh, have one first generation hung which used to be C major pentatonic but is now retuned to He Jazz. When we when we play as a duo, what we did also for the for the last six shows on this tour, he was with me. We have uh, hand pen wise, we have one halo with us in addition to to these three, and that one is in A G in tuning. Um, and besides that, he also plays uh, lots of different flutes and jaw harps. For the Dead Can Dance set, the, the idea was, Brandon's idea for the production was to, to bring the music on stage um, pretty much as, as similar to the CD, to the recording as possible. So he basically programmed all the sounds inside and then many of, uh, many of the pieces we trigger them. Okay. And then in addition we have the acoustic instruments. Uh, it's, it's a MIDI controller and basically, um, you know, in the 80s where they had the keyboards that they were hanging around their necks, it's basically the same concept but for percussionists, so you can, you can put drum samples and, uh, and trigger them and it has very nice uh, velocity sensitivity, it's called a Zen drum. <laughs> Well, with Dead Can Dance, actually, um, the, the hang sounds are triggered. I trigger them with the Zen drums, as you saw in the sound check earlier. Um, so, uh, that, that sample set basically is chromatic, so you can, you can use whatever scale you want. When um, I play with other projects, well, um, there, there are two options you have. Either you play with, with players that can adapt to your scale, um, or you, you play multiple instruments and then you actually create a chromatic set and can adapt to, to whatever the other people are playing with. Um, like these three, for example. It's interesting how it came out. I'd never planned it like that, but these three together, they ha they're a very nice chromatic set. <laughs> Um, that, the last Dead Can Dance tour was in, in 2005 and um, Brandon and me, we have a common friend who, who introduced us and uh, then Brandon invited me to the show and uh, afterwards we had a little drumming session and um, then he, he invited me to Ireland for recordings for a week which were originally uh, meant to be for his solo CD but uh, instead of that uh, one of the tracks made it to the new Dead Can Dance album. But besides that, I, I hadn't heard from him in, in five years, basically. And then uh, around nine months ago, I got the call if I, if I wanted to come on tour with him. Mm -hmm. 